Okay, let's use some numerical examples to plot the consumption function. Our consumption function is consumption is equal to autonomous consumption plus mass and propensity consume output. Let's assume autonomous consumption is 200 plus 0.8, the mass and propensity consume times the level of disposable income. So on your diagram, this is where we put disposable income, and this is where we put consumption. Now the autonomous part is this intercept with the vertical axis. It is 200. We know it's upward sloping, and that the slope is determined by the marginal propensity to consume, 1, 0.8. Meaning that if income increases with 100, then consumption spending will increase with 80. Let's take another example. Let's say it is 300 plus 0.7 YD. In this case, your intercept is 300. Still upward sloping, but the slope is now 1 0.7 meaning as you increase output with 100, then consumption will increase by 70. So now the difference, how autonomous spending determines the intercept and the margin propensity to consume determines the slope of the curves.